Okay, I wanted to talk today a little bit about keeping kids in their lane. I kind of see parenting as a highway, and so we want to keep our kids from going out of their lane and going into oncoming traffic, right? And so one of the ways that I think that we can do this is by giving our kid the freedom to make choices from choices that we've already decided are acceptable. And so it lets them feel that they have some choice and a little bit of freedom, a little bit of independence, um, exercising some of that, that will that they have but also not going outside of what we have determined to be safe, healthy, and appropriate for them. So for example, they want to get themselves dressed. Hallelujah. Loved when my kids could start doing things on their own. That was just super great. So they want to get dressed. You can pick from these clothes, right? This section or this drawer of clothes has weather appropriate clothes. Okay. So it's going to avoid that whole thing. I want to wear shorts in the winter, blah, blah, blah. Too bad. That drawer over there, that's not one of the things I said you could choose from. You can choose from over here, right? That's just how it is. So I've decided already this is acceptable. This is where you can choose from. Same thing with mealtime. You know what, you prepare dinner or whatever, it's on the table. You can pick from any of those foods. I really don't care if you don't wanna eat any of that and you wanna eat a bunch of that and you like a little bit of that, okay? And you, you can do it however you want. That part doesn't matter to me, okay? I want something out of the pantry. Oh well, pantry's not one of the choices, was it? It was out of these things that you could choose from, okay? It's something I've already decided is acceptable. You're gonna eat dinner from these foods, um, not from over there in the pantry. All right, and so I've decided as the parent that these things are acceptable and you can choose from those things. Same thing with bedtime routines, homework, those types of things. Well, I don't wanna do it in that order. You know what? I need you to brush your teeth, I want you to take a bath, and then you can have some time to read. I don't really care what order you do those things in as long as they get done and you go to bed, okay? So if you wanna read your story first, then brush your teeth and take a bath, I really don't care. Those three things are gonna get done and then you're gonna to go to bed, okay? You can have control of which ones you do first. Same thing with homework. I need it to get done by five o'clock, say, or whatever it is. Maybe you have somewhere to be or something. I don't care if you want to watch TV for a little bit or play for a little bit or relax, have a snack, whatever. I don't care as long as you get it done um, within the boundary that I've set. I need it done by this time. So you need to manage your time wisely so that you're getting it done, right? We need to teach our kids to make these small choices within boundaries we've set are acceptable so that when they're outside of us, they can start to do that on their own. That is the goal. Someday when they are grown, that they can make those decisions on their own without us being right there telling them everything to do. So it lets them exercise independence. It still keeps them in their lane. I hope that this helps.